See the way that your whip is now. Mm. That's not factory though, is it? Factory everything. Is it? Yeah? Except for the except for the paint protection. I know. Do you know why? No, your tester was factory though. Yeah, I tested was factory, but then I just took I just changed the front grille to the American front grille that has no number plate on it because I don't like number plates on the front. Okay. Hold on, it's not legal to have what? number plate on the front. What are you doing, Danny? You chilling no on the front. You gone? I, do you know I'm next door at five o'clock, so I don't even oh, know. Oh, cool. Um, um. What you you don't have to have a number plate on the front. You get a fine, but. Like it's minor, yeah. yeah it's, it's probably like having now, tints, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably like no, having dark no, tints. No, tints is, tints is legal. Like You get a fine every time. No, but what I mean by that is... They don't really stop you, man. That's what I was going to say. You know I mean? but it's yeah, like dark tints, yeah, tints, yeah? Yeah, tints, they don't really stop you. They don't really if, stop if, you. If, if a job's worth stops you... Then... Like, I basically, I've had every running with the police in my car. So I've had tints where I pull up at the airport. Are we airport, in, by the way? Yeah. I pull up at the airport to pick up Skep from the airport once, or to drop Skep. Yeah. And I was in my 5 Series. And that's when I got it. After, after I had it matte, I got it done in white and I had tints. Right. I saw two people in the roundabout flourishing jackets, radios, they saw me, I thought, oh, like my car was blacked out. White car blacked out. I don't want to the roundabout. I thought I should have circled around the roundabout and go back. This is Stansted, the roundabout just before you get to the uh, 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 departures. I thought, should I go back? I thought, nah, man, fuck it, man, I'm, I'm here, innit? Drove over the roundabout, I'm seeing a line of whips on the side, a line, I think it was like flipping deportation people, I don't know what it was, but guy come in the middle of the road, pull over, I was like, oh man, pulled me over, I said, yeah, these tints are too dark. But you know what? I said, I'm dropping my brother. It's like, you know what? You could take it off on the spot right now and we'll let you go. So I said, okay, cool. Ripped them off on the spot. My windows were mad sticky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, the bottom, the bit at the bottom that kind of stops the water from going into your door, the little furry bit, the suede bit, it pulled that suede off onto the window. It was mad. I thought, I'm never doing that again. Then when I was doing the device documentary. Oh, what? I, so what? You, from then you thought you ain't. When, it, when it, if Fed, Fed, Fed stopped me again, I'm not taking it off on the spot again. And oh, what? So what? So is it either take them off on the spot? Or we take or, we, or fine. Right, to get into it, there's percentages of tints. Yeah, I know. So 75% that's light too, is legal. And legal, a, That's yeah, AS2 yeah. on your window, so that's factory, that's how it should come. But, and it, between, and if it, between if 75 got, and then 60% right. say, it's illegal, Mines but are illegal. they can't give you points. They can totally take it off on the spot if they want, or give you a fine if they want. Right. From 60% to say 50%, I'm making these kind of barriers up, I don't remember it on the paper, but from 60 to like 50 or 45% tint, then they can give you points or a fine, Points and a fine, you know what I mean? You can or, get points. Or yeah, three points. Or they can or they can totally take it off on the spot. But then below that, like when it's blacked out like twenty percent light letting or whatever, then they can't totally take it off on the spot. They have to give you the points and fine, you know what I'm saying? So where I where I when, think they, mine's when, like they use, when they use a reader, yeah, when they use a reader, they said I'm I'm at the place where they can let me go if they take it off, so I took it off. Then I got stopped again. That's what I always tip did my you, car. So did you tint the Tesla? Yeah. You didn't that that wasn't with the Tesla though. That was with that car five that you about. Five oh, okay. series at the airport. X6, when I was doing a Vice documentary for the, what was it? Mixtape, 48 hour mixtape. Right, right. Driving around to go and meet the camera crew. Maybe the camera crew was even in my car, I don't know. But it was like, stop me at, um, what's it called? Stokey. Stop me at Stokey one-way system. Stopping everyone, stopping Ubers, everything. Stopping everyone, taking everyone's tents off. And it stopped me, I was like, yeah, um, we beeped it. I was thinking, oh, fucking hell. Beeped it, I was like, yeah, look, it's dark, but you know, we can take it off on the spot if you want, or you can have a fine. I was like, uh, give me the fine. The guy was like, are you sure? Sure, you want the fine? I was like, yes, yeah, give me the fine. He was like, listen, I hope you peel off office. It's so What's easy. What's the fine? What for? Like, 60 I don't know. Or so like? I'm thinking, right, I'll take the fine. Yeah, like, yeah, whatever. And he's like, why do you want to take it off? I said, listen, I've had it taken off before. It messed up the whole door, the fur. Like, I had to get a new seal, new everything, new rubbers. Like, it's long. And then that could end up costing you even more money. Yeah, anyway. and also I'm going to film right now. I'm a musician. I'm going to film, and they're going to be filming in my car. So I can't have them sitting in the car and crammed in with cameras with their back on the window, pulling hairs off there. You know yeah, what I mean? And it looks so shit. Just, just give me the fine. He's like, oh, all right, it's going to take us longer to write it out though. I was like, oh. Just give me the fine, please. He's like, okay, cool, give me the fine. He didn't want to write it out because yeah, it was exactly. going to take him long to yeah, write it out. Yeah. And he didn't want to be, he didn't want to be yeah, inconvenient. Well, he wanted to peel it and go. Right. Peel it and go. I took the fine, drove off, did the whole 40 hour documentary thing, nearly forgot about the fine, rang out to pay it. It was like a parking fine. Like, if you don't pay it within first, whatever days goes up, half price, you pay it first. Automated phone call, put my bank card in. Thank you. Paid. That's it. So I thought, raw. I was driving around with a fine in my door as well in case I got pulled for tints again. Say, look, I've already been fined. I'm going to pay it and get it taken off. Don't worry. But no, I never but they could again. find you again. Though, yeah, so. but no, but I never got stopped again. I kept the, I kept the ticket at my door for a while after I paid it, thinking I might still show it. Yeah, mine's I got twenty five percent. I think that comes through twenty five percent light. But mine, I ain't been stopped or anything like that. In, and that, that was the X six. Then I got stopped again in a Tesla. Now I'm saying I've had everything. So that the first time I got peeled on the spot. Second time I took the fine. Third time because I always thought, yeah, let me take my car light again because it's calm. Like I'll just take the fine. It's nothing. Third time. Driving on the A10, a car's driving mad slow in front of me. So slow, beeping, flashing. Cars behind me are flying past me. So I thought, I have to untake this guy. Untook the guy. Tra oh. tra tra traffic fed. 
Traffic fed No way, he captured. Pull over, pull over. Pulled over, I thought, oh man. Man, would you, that's you, a point. You might not have seen this, cause I sent it in the group when it happened. I sent it in the group, bruv. He said to me, listen, yo, I took the guy there, you might, he was going out, whatever. I said, listen, officer, look, he was driving so slow, everyone overtook, you saw. I was the last one to overtake him, undertake him, and I had to, like, he was driving so slow, I don't know Wait, what was going on. Wait, did you go in the um, slow lane to yeah, over? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a bit of a mad one. But still. it was, everyone did it. So then he goes, okay, cool, I'll let you go, but you've got tints. I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, pull over there, let me check your tints, check my tints. He said, listen, did you buy the car like this? I said, yeah. He goes, okay, because you bought the car like this. I don't want to give you a fine. I was like, just give me the fine, I'll pay. He goes, no, I don't want to give you the fine. I'm like, I'm in a rush. Please give me the fine, I'll pay. It's nothing, I'll get taken off. He says, no, you know what I'm going to give you instead of a fine? I'll give you this form here and you've got to go and get an MOT for your car. I said, but my, oh my I said, God, I said, but my, that. Bro, I said, my car is not even three years old. He says, yeah, it doesn't matter. Go and get an MOT for it. I said, but you're going to mess up. When I want to sell my car, they're gonna, people are going to be like, why have you got had an MOT in this time here? He's like, don't worry, just go and get an MOT for your car and take the tints off and then. Yeah, take things off, get an MOT to show you've taken it off and then go to the police station and show them that you've done this and then they'll take this marker off your car. I was like, oh my God, like this is mad. This guy, he's like, yeah, because I've seen people crash. I've seen, I'm thinking, okay, I know what you've seen, but I've been driving like this for time, for years, fam. Like I've had my car for like two years. Bro, there's nothing that mad. you can say because you know mad, what it yeah, is, yeah? Nothing. At that point, he just wants to inconvenience you. Yeah. So no matter what reasoning you try to drop with him, yeah. his whole thing is, I'm going to inconvenience you. Yeah, it's power, man. It makes you realise you've got... I've said the other day when I was eating. I was eating I said, you know what? We feel so free. Like, I literally feel free. I wake up in the morning. I feel like I can do what I want. I literally feel free. As free as I can imagine to feel. Elaborate you know I mean? on that. I can't... Like, I don't feel like I can go next door and just rob someone's house and do what I want. You right. know what I'm saying? But I feel like, literally, I've got nothing holding me down. I've got nothing. I've got no constraints right I can do whatever I want right now I'm just free I feel free I can go for a walk go for a drive fly out the country do what I want I feel like I've paid all my debts like I'm just free to do what I want that's how I feel but the moment a police officer says okay sorry sir so you're under as soon as he says you're under as soon as those words come out exactly bro the I'm moment that happens that in your head you think what yeah Ra, we're in a game we're in oh my god we're in a thing like oh yeah the queen the country right. the police the laws the i'm just pawn under these things like i forgot i'm just, hundred yeah like i'm not free i'm free because i'm allowed to be free but i'm not free at any moment they can say like raw so wait i'm on the rest of so i can't go home right now to my no nope, let me stop you wait a minute so let me stop you. i want granola right now i can't go and have granola right no, now. no 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 let so, me stop you you know when you're raw, not free like you know like fam, you're man. free but you're not free no from when you free. have a birth certificate, yeah. you're not free. <laughs> you understand that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From when you have a birth certificate, yeah. bro, you are not free. Not free. It's not that, not that I think we should all be free because I don't know what would happen if we were all free. There has to be something. But this is, it, this is the universe we live in. This is the world we live in where this is, the, this is the time we live in as well. 2021 right now. This is the time we live in. This is how society works. But yeah, like I, I just thought I straight talk, away. I want to talk more on that. Yeah, you're not, you are free, obviously. We're free enough, but you're not totally free. No. You know what I'm saying? We're not totally free. The moment... I, that happened. So yeah, that police officer, he had power over me. I just realised, raw, like, I just want to, like, right now. Did you realise in I haven't that done moment? Anything. Did you, re you, you realise that in that moment? No, or? I realised I realize this another randomly as I was sitting down eating Mercy Burger in Box Park with Mehmet and Ez. But that time shout, there. Shout out to them, by the way. Yeah, that time there, I realised that I wasn't free to just drive off. Like, I haven't done anything, man. Like, I did undertake the guy, but like 15 cars were undertaking him. I undertook him. I didn't go crazy fast. I was like, officer, you know how fast my car is, bruv? I was going like five mile per hour over the speed limit just to get past the guy. Like, if I was he speeding... Doesn't, it's yeah, about inconvenience. He, he just don't care. Basically, he's allowed to have... I can't do anything. No. Can't do nothing. In my head, I thought, why did I leave my house? Like, <laughs> I think I was going B&Q or something. Like, why did I even come at my house? I will stay in my house. I like, that. Flip, man. You start tying everything back. Like, oh, yeah, bro. Why, like, why did I get out of bed? As I was looking at him talking to me, I was looking at him thinking, yeah, you know what? You've got power right now. You've got power. That's what you've got. You've got power over me. Like, I can't do nothing. You're telling me, you're talking to me like a teacher, fam. Right. You're my equal. You're just doing a job. You're my equal. When I see anyone else at any other job, that is my equal. I respect them as they respect me. No matter where you're working, I don't care if you're working in the Apple store, if you're working at a car showroom, if you're working in the airport, anywhere you're working, thank you, hi, yeah, respect, right. cool. We're just even. Like, same way you should treat me if I'm working and you come to somewhere I'm working at, treat me the same. But do you know what you said, though? Now, this guy. Do you know what you said, though? You said that. There's a game happening. I remember, uh, Callum, I, didn't I mention that before in the context of something else? I used it in the context of like credit and that. Because yeah. I was saying that yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a game happening. That's how we got into this conversation, you know, before we were talking about credit. Yeah. I was, I, 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 I didn't come in I was at talking that about point. credit. 
with uh, producer Dan, Dan yeah, producer Dan. Dan, and um, not producer Dan anymore. Savage is he? Dan, Savage Dan. Dan, yeah, yeah, yeah Dan. Just Dan. Yeah. I was talking about everything with Dan, and we went on to credit, and right. then now we're back to credit again. Go yeah, on. that's what because th- I keep talking about this all the time. Yeah, where I'm like, um, I think the way that I was breaking it down was is that you'll get to a certain age or stage in your life, yeah, where you'll realize there's a game happening around you. Yeah, yeah, and how you play the game determines how you can move and how you manoeuvre and the things that you can get and the things that you can't get. So in the context of like, of credit, for example, yeah? And I was explaining this exactly to my brother, yeah? Yeah. Actually, this is exactly what I said to him. I said, but he likes playing FIFA, innit? So I'm saying to him, imagine now, yeah? This is how it works. So you decide now that you want to sell FIFA games and you've come to me because you know, I've got like a, a factory of, um, FIFA games. So you say to me, you know what, Chucks, can you give me like two games so I can shot the games? So I say, all right, cool. Here's the two games. Yeah. Boom. He takes the two games. He goes off. He shots them. He brings me back my money on the time that I say that I want the money by. Yeah. yeah? Then he says, all right, can I get another two? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Can I have another two? Yeah. Boom. Goes, shots them, comes back, whatever. He's Is done. it all right if I get six? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Boom. Give him six. Can I just make sure I got my peas back by this here? Time, yeah. Boom, whatever. He comes back with the peas, whatever. Yeah, now he wants 25. Bro, here, you can have it. Yeah, you're happy. Now, yeah. what happens is, because remember, we're playing the game here now. Yeah. So you now want to get, you want to purchase something, right? You might want to purchase a yard or something big, right? When you go and do that, you've got a little bit of money stacked up, but you might need a little loan or whatnot. You go to the place now for the loan and say, right, like, I'm trying to get this. Can you help me out? They say, yeah, hold on one second. Let me just ring my man over there to find out because I know you've done business Before, with him, yeah. innit? Yo, Chucks, what's my man saying with the... Well, how was he with the peas and that? Bro, every time he came, he was Chris. Legit. He always dropped the money and thing, whatever. Yeah. Like, whatever he wants, I will give it to him. Now, if, he yeah, wants, yeah. if he wants a thousand games, two thousand games He's or whatever, he can get that. All right, boom. You know what? I'm going to loan him the peas. Boom. It's all part of a game. Yeah. If now you come to me and you say, Chucks, can I get two games? I say, yeah, calm. Just give me the money by this day. Boom. You go... You do that, this day comes, I don't see you. Money, you gone, yeah, yeah. Right? Then you come back maybe a couple of weeks late with the peas. Oh, nah, sorry, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, can I get the next two? All right. Maybe. Uh, maybe one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll yeah. do it. Boom. But late again, right? It's late. Now you come back again. Now you want six. Yeah. Why right? can I get six? Boy. There's no way. The last time yeah, yeah, when yeah. you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, no it was way. a bit techy because yeah, yeah. when you came for the... T- the two, you didn't move the two. Correct. And you now you want six or whatever. Now, what, you, you, you stumble your way into a position of having a bit of peas now. And you now you want to get the big thing. You want to get the big thing now. Yeah. So now, nah, but you want the loan. Yeah. So then now, they ring me and they say, yo, what was he like with, when you was dealing with him? And I turn around and say, bro, it was techie. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit techie still, bro. Like, every time he was coming to me or whatever, it was just all a bit mad. Lit. So I say all of that to say that all of that is a game. And if you put that into the context of even just in life, everyone plays all of these different positions. Every moment that you start to realize, oh, hold on one second. I'm like, I'm playing the game really well and I'm kind of free. Something can happen yeah. to humble your ass. 100%. To realize that, yeah, yeah. you know what? No, hold on one second. You feel like you're not in the game. When you feel like you're not in the game anymore, like you think, oh, rah. Like you, pat- like I think I patterned myself to the point where I just literally feel like I'm not in the game. Like I, every single thing about that game, I got out of the way early. Like yeah. I've, I've realized it early. I realized bare things early. I, not even realized. I understood things early. You know what I'm saying? Like I understood things early to do with just growing up and becoming an adult. How? You know what I'm saying? Like how? Where did that come? from? I don't from? know. Like where did that come from? Anything? Anything that? Anything that there was you to do? You can sit back, by the way. If you're not comfortable, yeah, you're no, cut. I am. Yeah, I won't yeah. take my jacket off. I'm still oh, leaning forward to take it off. Anything that there was to do to become an adult, it's like I felt like I researched it a bit too much to go into it to make sure I've got it right because growing up, everything that seemed mad, a driver's license seemed mad. Like raw. You see people with cars and they're talking about insurance and all this stuff. I'm like, what the hell? Like what? This is long. Don't you just buy a car and drive it? Nah, you gotta make sure you get insured. They want insure. <laughs> they want insure. I can buy that car, but they want insure me on the car. Like what? So you can buy the car, yeah, but you can't drive it. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it. I put it in my dad's name. That's the, that's happening to man now. You know, I'm thinking all these things. I'm thinking, right? What's that even mean? Or you want to get a house, yeah? But 
I'm trying to help to buy, but then I need to put down a deposit. Deposit of what? What's the deposit for what? You got the money to buy the house? Yeah, but I need to put a deposit, like 20% deposit on the house, and then I'm gonna get a mortgage. And I'm thinking, mortgage? What's a mortgage? Like, like all these things, I'm thinking, like, what are you talking about, bruv? Oh, stamp duty. Like, I bought this my flat, but then they were stamp duty, but now they ain't stamp duty now. So I'm thinking, what are you talking about? Like, my brother and Ez would say, yeah, I bought my house, and like, like yeah, like, I got a tracker in it. I got a tracker. So, a tracker for what? A tracker a rate, the rate of the mortgage, I'm on a tracker. So, but if I would have got a fixed rate, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got a fixed rate because if I would have got a tracker, like the rate is low now, so like I'm paying. So I'm thinking, what? Well, like it was mad for me. All this stuff, I'm thinking, like, rah, don't you just buy a like all these things? No, work like I that. started researching and learning about early. So when I got it out of the way, I was like, rah, I even started tweeting it, saying, yeah, look, this is what you have to do. Duh, 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 duh. But yeah, I got it out of the way early, so I got to the point where I felt like I'm so patterned, like I'm cool. And then yeah, when, so that, you're, you're, when you're, something you're, hits you're me, you're inquisitive, innit? That's why. Yeah, I, I want to know. I want to know. I don't want to get bumped right. in bare things. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it hinders me. Sometimes I might not sign something to do with something to do with whatever because I thought, well, I don't want to sign that because I want to own that. You know what I'm saying? And then I could have signed it. I still would have owned it now and then I would have had my, you know what I mean? Or whatever. Whatever. Like sometimes I hinder myself or hinder my people that are around me. They're like, Jamie, man, just come. I'm like, no, you, man, do that. You know what I'm saying? And everyone goes and gets peas. I'm like, right, like, I could have just joined the man them. But I was like, nah, man, fun them. I don't know who, you know what I mean? I don't trust, I, I, like, I didn't understand it or whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I don't want to get bumped. But most of the time, it's just that I want to make sure what I'm doing is thorough. And I can, if if it if something flops, I can say, yeah, like I, I knew I had, I knew the chances of it flopping or whatever. So I try, I try and research stuff, innit? I try when, and look into stuff. When, when, was, when would you say the last time, yeah, that flipping, something happened where it, that hindered you? Like being overcautious didn't hinder me as much but I'll say it, it, it kind of hindered me didn't it depends, it, it depends have one as well Callum it depends, it depends, you it depends well. what you think say is a hindrance but Red Bull Culture Clash right the first Red Bull have I said this before I don't know what I've said no, before no you ain't said this here Culture Clash the first one like it was rushed like quickly everyone put everything together like on the day was, we went to my house was planning planning the tunes to come out to can and I just stop you by the way for yeah. people who don't not know Red Bull Culture Clash Basically, Red Bull Culture Clash was a thing that happened a few times in London, innit? There was I went yeah. to one in in Ells Court. I think um, we did the second one in the Wem one Wem Wembley. The, oh yeah, the second one was in Wembley. The one yeah. after that was in Ells Court Arena, yeah. and then the one after that was in O2. O2 yeah? yeah, and, and so, there's another one O2 as well. Again. Yeah, yeah. So and a lot of it is basically based on like how sound system culture was in Jamaica, where everyone has a sound, everyone has their own sound system, whatever artists perform, dub plates, all of these type of things or whatnot. But yeah, go on anyway. Yeah, so we got told to ask to do it. it. Was like, yeah, cool. It was organizing. We didn't know what to expect. We're thinking of tunes, comebacks because we heard, we're hearing who's on what team. Thinking of re like rebuttals, what to play if they play that, and what to do. Like I printed out Temps faces and made that Temps master come out as Temps for this tune and do all this. That like, was mucking. It was just like a quick rush thing, and we won it. So I was like, cool. We got told to offer to do the second one. So I was like, cool. We got to make sure we win this. You get me? I know how we're gonna win it. Like I've clocked, I've clocked it. I've clocked what it is. You win it by the crowd noise. So no matter what you do, if the right. crowd make noise for you, you win it. So how are we going to get the crowd to make noise for us? So like, yeah, we got a budget. We can help for the promo. Da, da, da. Which like, cool. culture class was this, by the way? The so. one in uh, in O2. Right. The one in O2. So, um, yeah, I thought, cool. So what we can do is, at the time, I just made a song called Amen. It's out now. It's got all of the boy better know on it. It's called Amen. Stop. Wasn't the one in O2, Cheeky was running that one, though? No? no, that's the second one. Oh, wait, this is Old Court. Elves Court is the Elves Court Elves Court, one. Elves Court, Elves Court, so right, right, right. I didn't do one at O2, did I? Yeah, exactly, no, I, I was going to say that. Elves Court, sorry. Yeah. So Elves Court. So yeah, boom. So we're, so yeah, so I had a tune called Amen at the time. It's one of my albums. And it was all of us on the tune. So I said, you know what, Red Bull? What we can do is, my plan was, this, I'll tell you what I said first. So I said, what we can do is we can do a video for Amen. Red Bull, you can be involved in it. You can have your logo. It can have a massive, big, like a, you know, you know Bullet Time Matrix when he does that and the camera goes yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, like we can have like loads of cameras positioned in a big circle around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on little, on, on tripods or have them, I don't know how, but the cameras are all at 360 around and have either a boxing ring or have a ring or have just a big logo on the floor somehow in the middle. That's where the artist is performing. Kind of like um, Tinchy Strider's Game Over in the floor, but bigger. Mm -hmm. And then, in between the cameras and in front of the cameras, all dotted around everywhere, we can have supporters. So we can invite like 100, 200, 300, however many, have a big crowd, a big crowd ring. You can even have a bird's eye camera as well, bird's eye view camera mm. or whatever. And we have someone in the middle, whoever's verse it is, performing, spitting their bars and the crowd's going crazy, shouting amen, because everyone's bar says amen on it. And then like, to transition between artists, do the bullet time, flap, and then next art, spitting, spitting in the middle, whatever, whatever, whatever. So my plan was to have a sick music video. It'll be a sick music video. It will be 
a way to engage the fans and supporters so they know Culture Clash is coming. They can all, they're already involved in it. They know this is going to be sick. Like this is to do with Red Bull and Culture Clash, and they're on our side. The tune's going to be out months before the Culture Clash. It's going to be a massive tune. Everyone's going to know it, and they're going to want to shout it with us. They're going to want to be on our side when it plays. You know what I mean? It's going to be a new song that we that they just know. And when we ask the crowd noise, they're going to go even crazy because it's the song that they were. You know what I mean? And what's the fourth? Thing. I think that was it. I think that was, I think that was all the points of covering it. But basically, it was like a way to promo a song, promo the clash, and also help win the clash at the same mm-hmm. time. They said no. <laughs> they said no. Like I had Matt Walker do the treatment, everything. Like I was ready to do it. For those who don't know, Matt Walker um, uh, makes videos, films, a lot of stuff. He's a video done guy. Yeah. Treatment done, everything. Send it to them. I can I can I can search my email right now. Show you the whole email. I sent them everything. Boom. They said nah. We're flying you all to Jamaica to go and meet everyone in Jamaica and see the home of sound clashing. And oh, yeah. Whatever, I saw whatever. that footage, yeah. actually. So I said, nah, burn that. Fuck that. You, man, do it. Safe. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Safe. I don't know what you're doing, Red Bull, but that's not how we win a clash. Going to Jamaica is not going to help us win a clash. It's going to help promote you and promote the clash to people. I hear that. But no one from Jamaica's flying over to come into this clash. I like, hear that. I don't know why you're flying over to Jamaica to go and do what? Yeah. To go and say, oh, the home of and they, do you know what? They could have Bam, done that. Been to they could already. actually wait. Hold on, wait. Was Stone Stone Love did that? They was yeah. representing Jamaica, so yeah, they should have yeah. just used them. I don't. They should have like, used them. Like, but whatever. Also, yeah. at the time, people that worked at Red Bull, like when I looked at the people that were going there, it was like I don't know how many people Red Bull staff. You know what I mean? Boy, better know and friends. Like everyone, it's like this is a holiday for everyone to go to, to go there. You know what I mean? Like everyone from Red Bull gets a holiday. Da, 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 da. I hate like in my in my eyes, I see what you're doing. Like I'm not doing that. Like that's not. That's nothing to do with my plan. Right. So I, from that moment, I stepped back from the whole thing. Like, I feel bad because obviously my brothers and my family, they were like, Sam, everyone's like, come on, Jamie, man. Like, come on, we've got, we've got to go around and sort out the tunes. I was like, just sort it, do whatever you don't want. I don't care. You know what I mean? I couldn't bother anymore. Because I thought like, what's going on? <laughs> go, go studio to record the tunes, go in studio. Yeah. And like, they're using the same studio to record everyone's tunes. So like, our ops, even though they're friends, but our ops, ops are yeah. studio recording tunes. They might have even listened to our tunes. And so and I'm thinking, oh, this is rigged. Like, this is just dead to me. So I wasn't, I wasn't on it anymore. So I didn't get to go to Jamaica. I didn't get to, you know what I mean? I kind of, kind of hinder myself just for me thinking I don't want to get bumped. I feel like we're going to get bumped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know what's yeah, going yeah. on. So it's kind of a hindrance. That's, that's, that's the last time I can yeah, remember. Is it like can... a hindrance of an experience, yeah. isn't it? Like the experience would have been good under different circumstances. Yeah. But you've been pitched that you're clashing. Yeah. You've got ideas for a clash. So and now you want man clash. to go and do... Yeah, it's a bit you know off. I hear it. It's so it, didn't, it didn't fit with me and I didn't do it. But I, I do that a lot. I do that a lot. And I don't explain it. That's why I can explain that one because it's something I can say. I don't mind saying it. Everyone that worked at Red Bull that I care about, they don't work at Red Bull no more. Yeah. Like, I don't like Red Bull. I've got nothing against Red Bull. I don't know who works there now. But yeah. my friends that work there, I'm still friends with till today. Everything cool, boom. Yeah. But other ones that hindered me, I, I don't think I can say them. That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, is I, it? I, yeah. yeah, I can say that one because I, I don't even say them out loud to myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? If something happens, I think, mm, I'll just take it. I, whatever. Like, I don't even say it. I don't, I don't, I don't Have you ever, what, you don't like, say. If I, if, I, if I stick to my guns and hinder myself because of it, I just keep it moving. All right. Have you ever said, all right, cool. You know what? This one, I made a mad decision. Have you ever said that out loud? Like, do you know what? I don't oh, know. fucking hell. Like, I don't even know. just that. I even, don't know. You don't even have to say. I don't know. Oh, I made. <laughs> like, have you ever just said, oh, fuck? I don't know, man. Because for as long as I've known you, I've never heard you say that. No. But like, in even in life, like, would anyone. No, ever... no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because no matter what, no matter what, I leave with my integrity. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. imagine there's a bag that I could get 100K if I just do this thing. And I don't do it. It's happened before, not 100K, but it's happened before when I get, it must happen to everyone. You get pitched yeah. something and you're like, no, it happened to me. I don't, I don't know who done this, but I, I can tell you everything I've been pitched and I've said no to. I got, I got pitched to say, to go to make a beat with Bose. I think it was Bose and Lewis Hamilton or something like that. Something to do with Bose and, or company and like, oh, make yeah. a beat with F1. Oh, what I drink one, company? Formula One car sounds. No, Bose. There's, oh, there's was a chocolate? Company. No, oh, shit. B-O-S-E. Bose, Wait, what? Bose. <laughs> there's a chocolate Bose. Called? Is there a chocolate oh, called Bose? Bose. 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 Yeah, I know you're talking about I used to call it Bose when I was a kid. But oh, okay. Bose. But yeah, I think I wanted to make a, make a beat with Formula One sounds. <laughs> all, this stuff. all these things. Like, I, I, I didn't do that. And you missed the bag. And I, I think I see someone doing it or something. Or you get pitched. What else do I get pitched? Something. I get pitched bare things all the time. They say, yeah. oh, do you want to do this? I'm like, I'll do it if I just do this. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. We want you to do it this way. I'm oh, like, nah. nah, 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 nah. Yeah, because I'm like, nah, like I, w- like, I could do it my way. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Like, That's people, when it people love a it. Just let me do it like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, we want you to come here and do this. And if you can wear this, this brand as well, I'm like, oh, let's do asking too much, man. I just don't do it. And it gets done somewhere else. And I look at the person that does it and I think, ah, oh, like, 
I know you got that big P check. Yeah, yeah, I hear like, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think, oh man, I think, I, I don't care. I, think, I know you I don't got care. a check. Like, I'm still, I'm still me. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've still got everything I that, that I came with. I so that. yeah, I never ever think, oh man, I should have, you, have done Callum, that. Callum, have you had one of them? One of what exactly? Being like, like a time where you've hindered yourself for, through like overthought. Oh uh, no, I'm not much of an overthinker to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I am. Oh, you don't think enough? <laughs> nah, I'm joking. So, sometimes, to be fair, yeah, but I'm not really much of an overthinker. Yeah. Um, I probably have hindered myself at times. Actually, I'll tell you what, one, one time that I've hindered myself is where I've said I could do something where I probably couldn't, and I've overstretched myself. Oh, okay, yeah. That's definitely been completely on me. That's happened yeah. quite a few times, actually. It's but like, shit. yeah, yeah. When you say that you can do something or that you're yeah. gonna do something, and then you you under when, deliver, when I, when I, you yeah, under deliver. Yeah, yeah. But you genuinely think that you can do it or that you're going to deliver. Yeah. But for whatever reason, you're actually not able to do that. But you didn't foresee that. Have you have you ever under delivered? Uh, I I say yes to everything. I'm like Wiley. You know, Wiley says yes to everything, but he doesn't turn up. Yeah. He, yeah. And I used to think, why does he do that, man? When I was growing up, but now I know why he does it. Because I say yes to everything. And I can't do it all, bruv. I, I can't do it all. I can't do it you all. You say yes with the but best intention. Yeah, yeah. And I mean to do it as well. And you know what? The thing is sometimes as well, because me, most like for me, sometimes people can ask me to do something. I say yes. And I get it done immediately. Mm. So sick. Yeah, but that's if you're in that moment. Yeah. And also that's if what they ask me to do is me. But sometimes someone asks me to do something and it's not really me, but I love them. So I'm going to do it. So I say, yeah, of course, man. Then I think, cool, I've got to set aside time to do this. And I don't have time to do it, man. I don't get time to do it. And I don't want to under deliver. I don't want to do it to not to my standard. You know what I'm saying? So I won't do it for time. Yeah. For time. And then sometimes late, I get the inspiration to do it. And I think, oh, do I even mess that? Like, do I bring bring it back and say, oh, yo, do you still mean to do that? And then yeah. do it. Now I just forget it. Forget about it. Right. Do they hate, you know what I mean? Do they hate me already? Like, yeah. whatever, whatever. <laughs> but I get that all the time. But yeah, literally, I have people ask me for stuff all the time, bro. I'm, I'm, I just give, 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 bro. And I, and I love doing it. I, I, I will never complain. But like like you said, when you say it, you're going to do it and you don't have the time, you can't do it. You've got no one yeah. to blame but yourself. But there has to be a time yeah. as well where you say, nah, I can't even do it. Yeah, I say, if, if I can't nah, do I something, can't. If, yeah, if, yeah, of I course. can't. But it, look, look, there's things you can do, things you can't do, and there's somewhere where they meet and there's a line. Yeah. If you don't know that line, you might say to yes to things that are just over that line and you can't do them. You know what I'm saying? So it's things that I know that are way over in that line, I'll say no, 100% like, no, I can't do that, bruv. That's not possible. I can do this if you want. I can't do that. But sometimes they ask, I'm like, in my head as they ask, I'm thinking they want to answer and I, I must be able to yeah, I, I answer it because I think I can, but it's just over the line and I can't do it, fam. I can't. But do you know what? Even just going back though, yeah? They is there really such thing as freedom? There like is, when I heard of course you, there is, of course there is, but we, it, it can't be possible because we've all, we, we all got free will. And if it was possible, if every single, it'd be good, if, it'd be possible for one person and there'll be, if there could be a film about that. There probably is a film, like one of these fucking pill taken and you're all certain, like one of these films, but there could be a film about it where one person is actually free. Yeah, you can be free, but not everyone. Because what do you mean? No, if we, some, if we, if, what somebody's you freedom will hinder you. If I'm free and you're free, then you're not someone free. Someone else is free. Oh, yeah, if you're free and I'm free, we're totally, both totally free. That's not possible. So someone has to not be free for someone to be free. Yeah, we're living in one world, fam. So if I'm free and it's my world to do whatever That's I deep. want with, I'm free. Then who else can? No one can be free as well because then Jamie's free. So what are you gonna do about Jamie? He's free. Like you can't control him. If he wants to do something, he can do whatever he wants to whatever you want. You know what I mean? So you both, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I think maybe you could be free. I times if... that by seven billion, six point whatever. How many billion people are on the planet now? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? If we were all free, it's mad, bro. Someone like. Lives are ending here. Yeah, it's mad. And I guess fucking, if you got rid of capitalism. Just, mean, just imagine if someone was free to drive. Never mind do something crazy. Imagine if you was free and you could drive if you wanted to drive. And there's some 15 year old kid just now goes and drives anything wherever he wants to drive, wherever, you know what I mean? It's mashing up their things. So <laughs> basically else. freedom is not even, when you deep freedom in how we see freedom, freedom isn't really the wave. Nah, there needs to be order. order there has to be order. That's what I'm saying. And I think like, obviously no matter how much you want to slew our society or societies, whether you're talking about what's happening in right. the US now, or what's happening in the UK now, what's happening worldwide, whatever, with yeah. governments now and the Kim Jong Uns and them man and the- Them the, man there, yeah, you, know? you know what I'm saying? And the people, the powers that be or the, yeah. the you know what I mean? Whatever you want to slew, it could be worse fam. It could be worse, you know what I'm saying? So- Like the idea of order is actually sick mm. if it's implemented in a in a positive way, you know? Yeah. But, when you're dealing with human beings, bro, 
Yeah. When you're dealing with humans, bro, like it's it could never. Yeah. It could never be implemented in a certain way. It could never. Yeah, individual human beings, fam. We're mad. We're, we're mad and we're so... Mad. And obviously, again, when you're dealing with people that are so different and that... I remember this is a context of something completely different, yeah? yeah. But I was saying that, like, it feels like... Okay, what, what, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about... Um, I was talking about... Something to do with this COVID shit. I just can't... I'll find it in a minute. Yeah? It will come to me in a bit. But I remember just saying that, flipping... Like, it would be so difficult. Like, the country is already divided, yeah? Yeah. Right? So, the country is, let's just say it's divided into two, the left and the right, yeah? Even in the left and even in the right, even that's all divided. Yeah. So, it's so I, difficult. I to stop you, but I didn't have to because you said it yourself. Yeah. It, all of that's divided. Yeah. So, when you're dealing with all of that division, how do you even implement rules and regulations that is going to fit? Uh, the majority it couldn't happen that's why you have to be the smartest you have to you have to overstand all of that and then just think they have to do something so this is what they've done like you know what I mean like imagine imagine the meetings they're having about like just like basically like on my street lockdown on my street looks like lockdown you know what I'm saying it looks like lockdown quiet because they can they've got their fridges full Right. You know what I mean? They've got their, their what's it, something, what's it, ducks in a row or whatever, mm. whatever you want to say, whatever proverb. They've got everything, like, they can. But check Shorty and go 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 check his cousin or go check whatever, whatever. I remember he was telling me, man are out, locked down, sitting on their car roofs, blazing. Outside. Outside, banging tunes. Yo, what are you saying? Like, and I'm not like, oh, what are you not doing? I'm like, yeah, I get it. Yeah, straight. I get it, you know what I'm saying? And that's just my two little worlds that I can dip in and out of. Never mind if I could dip into some next... Uh, uh, I don't know Canary Wharf Bankers lifestyle or I'll dip into some next uh, celebrity party like secret parties lifestyle or into, you know what I mean There's be- everyone's got their own lifestyle never mind the politicians lifestyles that I don't even know what their man are doing up there and then, I know or down you know there saying? down there you know what I'm saying so like there's be- or then dip into the the, the B-cap on flipping Silver Street's lifestyle or you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. dip in, there's dip, like the country oh, and that's just in London I forgot yeah exactly the country bro. I said the word country I remembered raw. Like I've got to go up to Birmingham Manny, right, Manny up to Leeds, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying Blackpool everywhere it's yeah everywhere, everyone and then they've got their own sub every, yeah. so one Boris brother trying to talk to all of us on TV and trying to make or, or the whole government sitting down trying to implement what time should we shut pubs and clubs what like it's mad they've got their, do you know it's difficult they've got to say something right but do you so know it's also I'm, difficult it's, as well be getting vexed and saying how you shot in there at 10? Like Corona's, you know what I mean? I've got to think, they have to say something. Mm. They have to, like, they have to say something. So then I just have to understand that. Yeah, I hear that still. I was literally saying to someone today, actually, that like, when you when you tie a problem or an issue or even a solution to one person, right? Mm. And you don't respect the person, it's, it's hard to hear what they're saying. Yeah. So like, say for example, the vaccine thing. Yeah. There will be a lot of people that will just like they'll tie the vaccine to Boris. Yeah, because he's the one. Because he's the one who's it, saying yeah. it. Yeah. And so when you're looking at Boris on the TV with that hair, yeah. and and talking or if the you way just that don't like Boris already, people don't you like just him. don't even like Boris. You don't like Boris already, yeah. And it, like he's telling you I can't. Gonna... How can I respect yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. But if it is, but the, also you you flip that on his head, there'll be people that will see Boris and respect him, and may not even proper respect him, but. They hear him out. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? They'll listen to what he's saying and they will they will take that and then obviously do whatever they want to do with that in their mind or whatever. Yeah. But they'll look at it like objectively and say, all right, cool, this is something I'm going to do because it might be for the betterment of whatever it may be. Yeah? But then you could have someone else in that position. Let's just say, for example, I don't want to put no pressure on anyone. Yeah. This is just coming to my head right now. So I didn't put no thought into it and I'm not trying to put this person in power or anything yeah. like that. It's just come to my head now. Yeah. But let's just say Akala, for example. Okay, yeah? yeah, All the people that don't respect, a lot of people that don't respect Boris, there'd be a large demographic of them that would probably listen to someone like Akala, for yeah. example, yeah. and respect some of the stuff that he's saying. Um, I'll give you an example. I remember when he went on Instagram Live or he announced that he was going on Instagram Live, yeah? There was like a whole, a massive group of our community, yeah. our commu- just our community, yeah. that was going to him because they feel like that's a trusted voice. So if he came and said, for example some of the stuff that Boris was saying, then that demographic that don't fuck with my man yeah. will listen to him because yeah. they fuck with him and say, you know what? Nah, I, 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 can, I can run I with that, that yeah. still. That, so 
I guess it goes also, back to what you were saying. Yeah, Someone has mad, to say something. There'll be a mad demographic that won't fuck that with will him. Not fuck with a right. message, and that will be trying to go through his old tweets, his old rhythms for lyrics, his old thing, and saying this is what he said. Yeah, he said kill the like you know what right. I mean or whatever. So the, and the, so, yeah, the, yeah. the point, the point is, yeah, exactly. I'm glad you said that because yeah. the point is the people that would be okay see with the vaccine stuff or whatever listening to Boris and saying yeah do you know what? I'm going to do that whatever it may be mm. they if it was somebody else that was in that position like someone like him yeah. they would turn around and say fuck that why am I trusting you mm. like why why should I why should I do that yeah. and then of course do what you said go yeah. through the old go tweets and, and try and tear you down the thing about politics is which I learned the hard way is people are equally concerned about pushing their message and pushing their uh, vision of what they want as they are concerned with making sure they tear down anyone that doesn't agree with them. You know what I'm saying? Where, where I, in my head, obviously I can't change things. I'm just a 1985 born youth in the UK, first generation. My parents are Nigerian. Why should you listen to me? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm some flipping ethnic minority guy that's just lucky making music and made a bit of money and just make your money shut up and just do what you want to do over there. Don't try and talk about this country and da 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 to people that think that way. You know what I'm saying? So, but in my humble opinion, I think if I had a new country to govern and rule and to, or to think of how to, how yeah. we should run, I think everyone, every local MP in their constituency, person that's been elected to be the local MP of Haringey, local MP of Enfield Borough, you know what I mean? All these people that, whatever. I think everyone in the, member, everyone in the House of Parliament should be on the same side. We are all trying to help everyone in our area. So there should thrive. be no note, there should be no... There shouldn't be a red team and a blue team and a yellow team and a green team. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. what? <laughs> like, we should all be on the same team. We're all trying to run this yeah. country together. We're all trying... So what's wrong in your area? Oh, listen, man. Like, it's crazy. Like, we have got no speed bumps and traffic lights and the boy racers going up and down the streets right? we had three accidents there's so many schools around there nothing like duh, 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 duh. we need new lines on the road they haven't been painted okay cool what about yours oh ours is lovely we just haven't got you know what I mean it's totally different to that like you're talking to someone from over there we just need to make sure that we do whatever 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 okay cool and we should work together to try and help everybody in their different areas okay we're going to focus on you what about you oh yeah duh, 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 duh. like everyone talk about their things mm. debate on it say okay cool we can't use money on that right now we understand it's very important but look we have this happening, Grenfell, da -da -da, this happening, we need to make sure we focus on that. Da -da -da -da. And like, as a whole country, work together and move forward together. Put, all put your ideas together. Not, no, I don't think, da -da -da -da. oh yeah, vote, vote, vote. We're going to vote. We're blue team. We think this. You think that. Da -da -da -da. You know what I mean? And, then, that's, you know, and you... then like, just hate people. Like people just yeah. hate, like Jeremy Corbyn, the Jeremy Corbyn thing. ID Magazine, interview Jeremy Corbyn. I interviewed the guy. I interview him. Oh, people was on to you. <sighs> Straight away, like, I haven't done anything. I interviewed him. I interviewed him. He's course. the guy on MySpace that said, "Bro, listen." He, I interviewed him for. ID he magazine. said this in his lyric. You, you, you're Grand for Corbyn. I'm not Grand for Corbyn. I don't know what Grand for Corbyn is. I'm literally the guy that interviewed Jeremy Corbyn and told everyone to register to vote and tweeted every single manifesto from flipping Lib Dems, the Green Party. I tweeted every manifesto and said, "Read it. Don't vote for who your parents vote for. Read through these and vote for who you are, who you align with the Make most. Make your own decision. And if you don't even want to vote, don't even vote. Just register to vote." Or, or 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 spoil your ballot and make, let them know that you, you you don't understand or whatever whatever. But just be heard because you're going to be the future of the country. Once yeah. everyone, once all the quote unquote old people that are in control and vote and blah blah blah. Once they all pass, mm. you're going to be the new old people. Everyone gets old. Do you like? There's going to be nobody voting at that point because you do all did not register. You know what I'm saying? So I said just register the vote. That's all I said. But no. You know what I'm saying? Like, look what you they did. They tried you, to put you in a fucking Yeah, headlock. you tweeted anti-Semitic tweets. I was like, right, is that anti-Semitic? I didn't tweet that. I retweeted it. Someone busted a joke. I didn't know yeah. it was anti-Semitic. Uh, enlighten me, please, as to why. Because, okay, right, I didn't know. Right. Everything, I was like, right. And like, do you know the thing is? Can I just stop you as well, running? yeah? You, know you see, saying? like, how you're, because you're like me in the sense that, like, if I don't know something, just you can enlighten me in it. And I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. But what happens is, yeah, when someone tells you, oh, you've done something wrong. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Enlighten me, like. No, but first, then, you, no, think, wait, first wait. you think you ain't done nothing wrong. Yeah, I ain't that exactly. So you, you want to oppose right. it, but then yeah, yeah. Then they enlighten you, and you're like, oh, okay, shit, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, right, that's mad. Okay, yeah, yeah I hear you. Yeah. They're not prepared for you to say that because they're prepared for you to argue. Yeah. So they're still ready to... Yeah, yeah. Like, to kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, you fucking... I know, but the reason they want to kill me <laughs> is because they've seen the picture of me and Jeremy Corbyn together. Right. I'm not like, what? I'll take... Bring... It wasn't even... Boris, it was 
Um, oh, that poor David lady Cameron. that cried. Oh, who? She cried when she left the... What's her name again? Oh, what? Um, Theresa May? Theresa May, man. Yeah. yeah, it was her. I was like, bring Theresa. I would more likely... I would more want to sit down with Theresa May and talk to her yeah. than Jeremy Corbyn because I've... I didn't know how cool he was going to be as a person and speak to me and talk to me about the street we're sitting on and tell me mm. the history of music. And I'm thinking, rah, like, I see everyone in this in this House of Parliament as grey, boring people. Like, rah, like, we're having a conversation. The camera's not even rolling. You know what I'm saying? I would love to sit down with Theresa May and say, yo, like, just talk to her. And be, like, I never get to talk to anyone like you. So just talk to me and let me try and understand you, try and understand me. That'd be, much, that'd be a much better interview. People would much want to rather see that you know what I'm saying I'll ask her the same questions I speak at the end I'll still tell everyone to register to vote mm. same way you know what I'm saying it's n- I haven't got an alliance with anybody I didn't say who I voted for or anything you know what I'm saying but like I said they want to tear you down as much as they want to push theirs come which, here you yeah, fucking which, we, which we shouldn't want to do that we yeah. should all we should all be trying to do the same thing which is try and make our area yeah. wherever you live wherever you live better you know what I'm saying maybe you can vote on a law that's going to govern everyone that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But it shouldn't be teams. Yeah. It shouldn't be teams. Do you know what the thing is though? It shouldn't be squads. Because another reason why it shouldn't be squads Go is on. because this is one thing I've tweeted as well. If you voted for Labour, there's no way that you agree with every single thing Labour are for. If you vote Conservative, there's no way you agree with every single thing. So 100% the things not. you don't agree with, they're not being heard. 100%. You know what I'm saying? So I think we should all be voicing what we want to our local MPs and then they should be going to the House of Parliament with what we've been voicing in our area and everyone should be heard. Simple. But you know what the problem is with that though? The problem with that is, is again, when you're dealing with human beings, yeah. I feel like that is how sub-genres are created in a sense. Because you know what? If that was the case, there would somehow be a group of people that will turn around and say, do you know what? I don't feel like there's a voice representing me. That happens so anyway. then what happens now That happens, is, happens anyway. Yeah, and so then, exactly. And then so what happens is, is that someone says, yeah, I feel that too. Yeah. What do you think? And, and then, then they group together yeah, that's and then anyway. that's how it starts That happens happening. anyway. That happens anyway. So if you know that can happen, then you should have you should have something against that as well, Continuous contingency, to make sure that you can't do that as well, that we're all in <laughs> yeah. this together. We're all in this together, man. We're but then someone together. turns around and says, but what about my liberty? Like people... <laughs> What about my liberty? People, people feel like losers when you're not in power. Like people, like I see people saying, "Oh, because they've been in power for ten years. Look what they've done." Da, 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 da. Like you hate people. We're all people. Like you hate them. Mm. Because, why do you hate them? Because they voted for this being like they're this rich scum. Da, 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 da. Like left wing, right, left left wing, right wing. All this. I don't know what wing. Yeah, wing. I know. Any, I don't want to be on any wing. Don't yeah, don't that. horoscope me and tell me oh you're you're in this wing because you what how much money do you earn and how much you spend do you shop at Tesco's or Waitrose Da-da-da. don't allow me I'm just here flexing I'm just vibing. I'm too objective to be in one yeah, wing yeah I don't want to be on because any I, I can for me opinions. I could look at someone who maybe I don't identify with yeah. and I don't have we don't we don't relate in yeah. any way shape or form but I could still fuck with them yeah because and so they might should, do you know yeah. what also they might be able to they might I could sit down and have a conversation with them yeah. And because of that, because of we come from different places or whatever, fifty mm. percent of what they say to me could be absolute bollocks. Mm. But I would not be ignorant enough to take away the fifty percent that I thought was actually some real spit. Yeah, and also it'll be interesting. Like I'm around my brothers and everyone like I'm like like me twenty four seven. So I like being around them. I'd rather be around them. But flinging me bro- in big brother with some next person from some next area that knows something different to me, you'll be seeing me chatting with them on the sofa all the time, learning something different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's interesting. I don't hate them. I don't hate someone that is different to me and thinks different to me and not, hasn't been brought up the same way I brought up and, and watches TV and thinks, yeah, man, I've seen a guy's running on the street with that big knife hitting the windows and an immigrant did this thing here, this terrorist thing here and yeah, man, close the borders and da 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 I'd be like, rah, you know, for me, like my parents, here's my mom's book, read my mom's book. Like, that's I've got that, still haven't read it. That's what I'll be saying to them. Like, read my mom's book, like, that she She's, a, she's an immigrant. Like, that's how we got here. Da, 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 da. Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, just, just talk, man. Be human. Be, yeah, that's another thing. Being human. Be a human being. Talk, eat, sleep, shit, piss. You know what I mean? Love, laugh. You know what I'm saying? Don't just hate everybody, bruv. Like, be a human. That's why I say sometimes... It's balanced was, emotions. Yeah, it? balance it, man. That's why I said, that, like, like you said, people would um, hate not take the vaccine idea because it's Boris. I can say, oh, I feel sorry for Boris. I'll say sometimes, say, oh, I feel sorry for Boris, man. And people are like, why? I said that with Teresa, you know. Bro, I can't lie. That's what I say when she cried when she left. I said, bro, I'm human. People, people be like, what? <laughs> bro, burn her or burn him, man. Like, whatever, man. He don't care she about said the man. This, yeah, yeah, I'm like, right, okay, I get that. Yeah. But she, like, she doesn't know any better. That's what she knows. She's, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you was in, 
uh, office, you'll be trying to make sure you protect the man them. Right. You know what I'm saying? You'll be you'll be trying to make sure that, yeah, decriminalise cannabis straight away. Boom, boom, boom. Like small businesses, you'll be trying to help. Right. Blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Someone else Whereas if you was born in her shoes and whatever, if you was born and your parents paid your 13K of 40, I don't know how much K it is per semester to go to Eton and da 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 da, da and then that's, that's where, that's the life you lived. And you never, you never ever chilled with the man them playing two touch. You never ever did this stuff. You don't know that stuff. And that's where you went. When you was in positions of power, you be trying to help your man them, your brethren. You'll be like, yeah, cool. Big businesses. Okay, cool. We need to keep them afloat. We need to make sure that trust funds can still go like, because inheritance tax for getting up like mum. Like, I mean, like people, you've seen people in your family and extended family pass away with loads of land and loads of things and they had to get get rid of it so you have to think right cool we need to make sure that doesn't happen no more we need to make sure you know what I mean you'll be looking after them because that's what you know mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so like I said you have to understand that everyone's different and yeah. overstand it look over it you know what I'm right. saying and the, the, hate, the, the, the only unfortunate everyone, thing is the only unfortunate thing is actually let me just before I didn't even want to not that it's right by the way not, right, that, exactly. it's, yeah, not, yeah. not that it's right that people in positions of power and wealth look after people that are wealthy. I don't think it's right, but I understand why they do it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's right at all. And if I was in a position of power, yes, I would try and help people like me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But maybe you... Not maybe, biasly, not, I wouldn't... Yeah. Talk, I wouldn't but maybe, I wouldn't, you, maybe you may look the, at that and think, you know what, yeah? Like, obviously, I'm definitely going to extra look out for the man. Yeah. Like, but I'm going to, yeah. like, try to be as fair and objective as possible or what, whatnot. Yeah. And, but you see with the Theresa May thing and that, Obviously, I knew that like there was a lot of fuckery and some things that she said, and she was against this and all of that stuff, and I heard all of that yeah. in it. And there was cer- certain things I didn't like and respect or whatever. But I think for me, yeah, like when I saw that, see, like with the crying thing and whatever, and she was leaving or whatot. Yeah. In that moment, to me, I just saw a woman. Same. Oh, to get me. Said I was gonna say that. I, was I just say saw that. a woman, what, yeah. and I remember even before all of that, I thought, fuck. I did think to myself, rah, like, because there was. Pressure on her yeah. at one point. It was so flames yeah. for her, yeah? yeah, and maybe rightly so. But I thought, you know what? Like, like I can I can identify with like going outside or whatever and feeling pressure, whatever it is. Maybe not that pressure, yeah. but then coming home to my girl, yeah? yeah, and you know what? Like just that comfort of having my missus. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like just there while I'm supporting me through all of that yeah. and whatnot, yeah. And I did think to myself, like. I wonder what it must be like in her household because it must be so like you step outside and you've got all of this to deal with and all that, all these flames, all of that type of stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you've got to go home and you've got to be a human being and that in it. Yeah. And so like, I wonder what it was like also for her husband having to like, yeah. I started thinking about oh, these yeah, type of things, but I know that there'll be a lot of people that be thinking, what? Shut, 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 shut the fuck up. Bro. Yeah. She was saying this and she was doing that and or that, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I couldn't take away from the fact that in one moment, in one moment, I looked at her as a woman and I thought, rah. Yeah, this you know ain't an act. Yeah, cause I watch, is... yeah, when you watch it all the time, you don't know if it's an act or you don't know if they really care. Like, I watched the Prime Minister's questions and that, but I was, I was getting I've been there it. before, you know. Bruv, they're just shouting and stuff. Like, I think, rah. It's like, like school kids, bro. Yeah, they're like school kids. In my head, I think they don't all really care. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. Well, that's what I thought, sorry. They don't really care. They just hear the shouting. They're getting paid peas, racks. And it's like, yeah, oh, 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 sit down, oh, oh, oh whatever. Oh, oh. I tell you, when I tell you, that, Mr. Like, Speaker, I tell you, my right honourable gentleman here was yeah. not saying that when he was spending money on his house. And I'm thinking, what oh. are you? Oh. I mean, I, I'm like, right, you man. <laughs> like, we did this in school. We done this. Are you not really running our country? And just shouting and papers and putting paper in your mouth to talk yeah. like, what? Yeah. Like, seriously, bro. We need to be oh. run by, isn't it? It's like we're run, we're run by a choke man, a choke man, but... Um, yeah, I went, like, I went to um, Prime Minister's questions when it was, um, um, wait, who was before David Cameron again? What was his name again? Tony Blair. Tony Blair. Yeah, so it was like his Gordon last Brown. week. Tony Blair, then Gordon Brown, innit? Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, then David to Wait, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown. Oh, so I went, the last week of um, Tony Blair. Yeah. Yeah. And David Cameron was on him. I remember David Cameron was like the young kind of buck. Mm. Yeah. And my uncle took me. And that felt, honestly, yeah, on, yeah, so yeah, exactly. It wasn't there very long. I thought, to be honest, when my uncle said he wanted to take me, I thought I was going to watch some absolute bollocks. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, why am I, I don't want to, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? But when I got there, I straight away realized why he wanted to show me this because it literally is like school kids in a playground, bro. Like it was the most interesting thing in the world to me seeing, it was almost like I'm seeing David Cameron, Tony Blair, David Cameron's like the new kind of cool yeah. kind of 
kid who's come along now and sticking it on my man and everyone's loving it and every time that david cameron's standing up saying something yeah oh Oh. like what is he gonna say (laughs) next and then so he my man would stand up now and say something and then it was like he weren't getting that reaction or whatever it was like a clash it was literally like a clash whoever made the most noise came away with the winner on Blind, I got a tune called Blind featuring Wiley on, I don't know what album it's on, but I actually say that. Tony Blair was in, in government when I said it, but I said, I can't remember what I said, something like Tony Blair was strapper 16, and then, or someone strapper 16, then Tony Blair would back his team. So I, 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 I phrased them in government as if they're clashing. Right. I did it and I actually wrote a bar about that. Cause that's how it felt, that's how it feels fam. Yeah. Like, literally. I, I can't even remember the other thing that I was gonna say. It might come to me in a bit, but. Yeah, I think f- the freedom thing is an interesting thing still. Because mm. I know freedom has a lot to do with your mind and how you see things. But really, there's a game that's being played around you regardless. There's a game that's being played around you regardless. Yeah. Literally, no matter how free you feel in a certain place, yeah, there will always be something that will let you know that y- your life can change drastically at any point. When you go to America, for example, yeah, there's so much people here yeah, that's just in jail for things that they... Black, didn't oh, even no. do yeah. and imagine they could have been playing the game however they wanted to play it but someone turned around and said nah you know what you did that no matter what you say yeah, yeah you did that and this is one of the reasons why I'm so fascinated like I got a big fascination with the courtroom bro yeah you know that like I watch a lot of um cross examinations on YouTube like I'll sit and watch like two hours of cross examination. The only thing I've bro. seen in the courtroom proper is like making a murder. I think I watch that. And making watch a that, murder. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. Guy, that... See all of that type of footage and yeah. stuff like that. I love watching that real time. Um, Aaron Hernandez was like that was a case where there was a guy. He was um, an American footballer. Yeah, he signed a big deal, three hundred million or some shit like that. Yeah, massive. Yeah, but he ended up wigging his um, his fiance's sister's boyfriend. Yeah. Her fi- um, fiance's sister's boyfriend, boyfriend yeah, yeah. yeah, wigged him now, yeah, and then fucking, and then the, obviously, and it's so mad, yeah, because imagine the flipping fiance was in some way complicit because she was sort of helping him yeah. get rid of the thing, whatever. So I was watching all of the um, the courtroom footage because imagine this dynamic, yeah. Remember, the courtroom's a game too, you know. Yeah. Sometimes, the, no matter, sometimes the more money you have, the better you are at the game. Bruv, the courtroom's the part that biggest, makes it yeah, biggest yeah, game. It makes you know it's the game more right. than life. Because life, you get fooled that it's not a game. Right. Because you're just living your life. Like Until you go in there yeah. and then you like. Happens, you're like, rah. And then you get told about how to play the game. Like, basically, in life, don't lose your chain thing. But in life, like I said, I learned things in this game early because I was so inquisitive. I had friends around me that was set buying and selling cars. I was like, rah. So what do you need? Duh, 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 duh. How would I? Okay, trade insurance. Okay, if I get. I learned how to get insurance on higher cars and blah, blah, blah. And then same with the house. Like, oh, credit score. Boom, boom, boom. Experience. Duh, duh. Okay, ring up. Sort of, you know what I mean? All these little things I started learning early, but no one else around me did. It's just me on my own. So I'm trying to tell everyone now, you know what I'm saying? I've got bridges now. I've got bridges now that are older than me that don't drive, you know what I'm saying? Or don't own their yard yet or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I'm j- dropping those or helping, a lot, still learning, but still trying to drop gems on everyone at the same time. But then. If anything happens, I've got to go to court. I know it's the game straight away and I'm on ball. I'm on it. Like, right, I'm winning this game. Like, I'm right. going to murk this game. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Do you know how much people that, ju- that fall into that and don't realise that there's a game being happening until they say, all right, cool, boom, we've got to get you a solicitor. Well, yeah. How do I get a lawyer in that? Oh, yeah, yeah. we're going to give you one because obviously yeah. you don't have to. Can you afford to pay Some for one? Like, oh, I represent you myself. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, let me represent yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. 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 You go in there, yeah, you start representing I'm yourself. I'm, in, I'm innocent. Yeah, Listen, yeah. this is what happens, yeah? You're not going to like this when I say this, yeah? yeah? But see, if you go into the courtroom with no knowledge of trying to represent yourself, yeah. this is exactly what happens. You go into the court, and as you go into the court, you're getting bent over like that. Yeah. Then they are. Yeah, go on, you're gonna represent yourself, yeah? Alright. You're gonna represent yourself. I take, <laughs> I take a picture of this, this, this is what's gonna happen, yeah? So put your hey. back. This is what's gonna happen. When you get into there now, yeah? I you can say what you wanna <laughs> That's exactly I, what it is. You're gonna get fucked. It's over for you. Bro, you're it's gonna get in there you. and yeah, you're gonna yeah. get your hair pulled back it's over. and you're gonna get sex it's to over. bits. It's over yeah? for you. But then it's techie as well because if you don't have your peas, then you get a, someone appointed for you. Yeah. And then that can be techie as well because sometimes it's like you don't know 
who it is that's and it could be a junior yeah, yeah, all yeah. of these type of things you understand what I'm saying and then your life is on the line it's at times like that. My, 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 my mom used to be an appropriate adult so if people got shift with no one in the station while they get an interview my mom would get called in to speak to them and you know what I mean like because they've got no one with them whatever whatever and she would come home and tell me sometimes like yeah like sometimes sometimes it's cool but sometimes she was like no like it was out of order what I saw today like the way, right. they, was, the way they were treating this kid like he'd done nothing whatever whatever, whatever. And, he, and then when he heard my name, he said, oh, do you know Skepta? Because it's the same surname. Oh, you Skepta's mom? Oh, like, she was like, they were gassed, it was me, whatever. Mm. I was, uh, and she would tell me the stories and whatever. And then uh, when you were talking about that just now, I was thinking there's bare different games. Because also, when you said, uh, if you get appointed as a solicitor or whatever, and you don't know what their thing is, I was thinking about my brother who just passed the driving test. And was talking about driving tests and the test, the people that take you on the test and like, or the instructor's car that you use, they get the score. So sometimes they'll pass you someone else. Or, and then, uh, or my brother Mehmet was like, yeah, when I went, the instructor come out and the woman said, oh, good luck. You got, you got grumpy Gary. Oh, whatever. no, see? And then as he's walking up, out with the instructor to the car, his mum was like, good luck. He, he said to his mum, I failed, I failed. He said I fell before he even got in the car because the instructor, he just knew. And when he got in the car, did they think normal, nothing went wrong, failed him. You know what I'm saying? So like this game in life that you yeah, don't yeah. know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, there's know. a book I'm reading at the moment called In Black and White, yeah, by Alexandra Wilson. And she's a, she's from Essex and she's a barrister, mm. yeah. Um, she's a mixed race girl and she talks like a lot about like her journey into that and whatever. And so there's a chapter in there about like being black and there's a part in which she talks about, she's representing a youth called Hamid, I think it is, yeah? Um, black youth or whatever. And um, someone had said to her, like when it came up to like the court date or whatever, someone had said, oh, you know what? This is good because such and such has retired and he's a racist judge, Yeah. yeah? And so she was like, I didn't know whether to be happy that like a racist judge has obviously like retired, retired but also like, rah, how long had he been here? Yeah. And so for him, to, for people, for that to be such common knowledge, right, what kind of fucking was, what kind of fuck, what yeah. kind of fucking shit was he carrying on with? Yeah. And then it's like, rah, who around you is kind of... What else? Yeah, 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 like, do you know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, this judge that's coming in, like he's, yeah, he's a bit more fair. What? Yeah. So we're playing a game here with people's lives on the line. Yeah. And now sometimes this is determined on whether someone actually is kind of fair or kind of racist yeah. or kind of like, it's mad. What, yeah, what about what's right? Yeah, like, what about what's right, bro? So that's where freedom, freedom is a, it's an interesting subject, boy. And it's an interesting thing. And I know that, I think there's like, there's um levels and leagues to it because you're more free a lot of the time being outside than being in jail, for example. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But Lock, um, Lockdown lets people know about freedom as well. Lock, lockdown's a good time for everyone to start questioning. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember, remember, the, begin, remember the beginning, before lockdown, with the rumours spreads. Remember the rumour, them yeah. videos, like, yeah, man, I heard like, there's going to be army on the street. And, Yo! Like, I, I heard, I, I, M25's going to get locked to get me. I heard that. Like, <laughs> Hey, I heard this. I I heard this ending in the fucking. You know what I mean? Like it's mad. Like I was thinking, raw. Like in my head, I started to question. I know what's coming do you next. Know, you know what I did? I know what's coming next. <laughs> I got a lot of that one. Boy. My, my, my girl works in a police station, isn't it? Like she told me that Tuesday. Like you know what I'm saying? They're gonna get all the police dogs and they're gonna get sniffers. Like, <laughs> but everything, bruv. I you know what I did because my all my groups are getting crazy. Like we're gonna get locked down. Like you can't leave your house. So, I, bruv, I went on Google Maps. I recorded my screen. I started zooming out. Zooming out of my house, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out, and saying, listen, can you see how many houses, can you see how many streets, can you see this? Like, how much police and army do you think we have? Like, what do you, what, like, what, what's wrong with you like that? People believe anything, you know what I'm saying? But they, lockdown still did lock people down yeah, to the yeah. point where they have to think about their freedom, like, rah. That's why it's good, you know? Only leaves a house for exercise. Right. Or to get away from domestic violence. Right, right, right. What, I remember, at, at the first lockdown, once a day. Yeah, like, yeah, you can't exercise twice a day. Like if you exercise twice a day, you're in trouble. It's, Ill it's illegal to yeah. exercise twice a day. So you start to think like, rah, like it start to qu people that should should have started questioning how free they are. You know what I'm saying? It is mad. Yeah, man. yeah, that's why. And I'm a rule breaker anyway. I'm, I'm a I'm a lawbreaker, man. I've been a lawbreaker my whole life, and even if I even even if I not not to say that I just broke lockdown rules for bans, but. I understand why they're in place. Like I said, he's talking to every single person that I've listed before, like all over the whole country. So you have to, give, you have to, give, you have to give a blanket rule to everyone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But in my head, I'm thinking he doesn't mean it to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I might have to put the bins out, then I might have to quickly go to shop to go and get some sunflower <laughs> spread, then I come back. But then what if shops are shut in? And I need, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to go back like, oh, I can't go out. I'm going to go out, bro. Can I be honest with you? I'm going to go out. Let me be honest with you, yeah? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm going to be honest with you. 
a part of me felt like they could have been saying to us at the time, it's peak. Like, it's proper peak. Everyone's got to stay in their yard and all of that type of stuff. These are the numbers, blah, 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 blah. And the numbers could have actually at the time been a lie. Mm. But they could have been saying that because they thought if we don't exaggerate the truth and we don't put extra sauce on this and get people to stay in their yard, even though you didn't really need to at this point, if we didn't get them to do that, it eventually is going to get mad. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm. Sometimes, I've, I'm not saying it with this, I'm not saying this is a certified fact or whatever, but this is just something that came to my head here. Yeah. Just even in life, sometimes you may have to over-exaggerate the truth at times in order to get people to act because it could be mad. Yeah. So it's me, like... Let me say this though. Go on. Go on. No, you finish, you finish. Um, it's like, you know what? There's a sea, yeah? We live by a beach or whatever. There's a sea or whatnot, yeah? And we know that there's a shark in the sea, yeah? But no one ain't being killed in there or anything like that for time, so whatever, so it's kind of calm. I wouldn't necessarily be mad if someone said to like a young buck or whatever, there's a whole load of sharks in that sea. If you go in there, it's going to be mad. mad for you. Do not go in that sea. Even though, in truth, there's only one. Yeah. There's literally only one. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm a rule breaker. I'm only going to go in the sea yeah. and do my thing, whatever. Yeah. Next minute now, a Ras Clark limb comes off now. Because yeah. that one time, the shark did actually come. Yeah. And then, you know what? Not only did the shark come, people came out to go and get the you, yeah. to go and help the you, and the shark yam up everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, so... I don't know. What I want to say, what I was going to say, which you kind of half said it, is I have a child now oh. and I exaggerate to my child because my child doesn't know better. So I say to my child, don't touch that pan. It's hot. It'll burn your hand off. You're going to have to get a metal hand. And now she's now she likes to say metal hand. Now she wants to get metal everything. Like she bangs her head, oh, bang my head. I need to get a metal head, metal head. Like, because I, I, I exaggerated to metal hand. She's like, what? She wants to see metal hand. I go on YouTube, show her prosthetics. Like, look, he's got metal hand. You have to get metal hand. She's like, I want metal hand. I want metal hand. Like, I've gassed her because I exaggerated so much. But she's a child, so it's just fun. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to end up in anything too dangerous. Hopefully, it doesn't mm. she doesn't try and get a metal hand? But we're adults, so I don't think they should do it to us. It's just in my opinion. But we're humans, like, though. Yeah, we're human. We are human. But if it was The Sims, I keep saying this. If it was The Sims, it was a game. And I was playing the game and there was a pandemic come in. It is a game. Okay. But if I was playing the game and I was, it was my game. Okay. So I'm in control. And there's a pandemic and someone pressed, like the game, in the game at some time, a pandemic comes and people start passing away in your, in your town that you've made. I would just press the button. If there was a button, everybody go shopping for two weeks food. Press it. Everyone goes out, shopping two weeks food. There's two weeks <laughs> stuff. And you see it happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get back in. Everybody locked down for two weeks. Enter. And everybody locks down for two weeks because it's a game and they can't, no one in the game can disobey me. I'm the God of the game. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'll do because they are not, they don't have free will. They're just pawns on the page. You know what I'm saying? But we are all individuals. We are all adults. We've all got different situations. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to treat us as such. You've got to act like that. Don't act like you're playing The Sims because you're not playing The Sims. So you can't send everyone to school on a Monday and then on Tuesday, on Monday night, sorry, tell them they're not going to school on Tuesday. They've just got new information locked down. You can't, sorry, you can do that because you did do it. If it was The Sims, you can do it as well. Press the button on the Monday night and everyone stays on Tuesday. It's not a big deal. Mm. But this is real life. So somebody somewhere, made up situation, but somebody somewhere must have said over the Christmas period to someone, their neighbor or someone, one of their closest said, listen, if we don't get locked down, I'm going to take a trip. I've got to go to South of France because it's been delayed. I've got to, whatever. I've got to do whatever this thing. My two sons, could you, could you look after them? I'm going to leave my daughter with a thing. Send them to school for the first week. I'll be back and I'll give you all the thing. I'll give you the money, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? And ducked out. Something, someone, someone's done that and given their kids to their cousin or their, whatever, you know, or something somewhere. And then on that Monday night, as they landed somewhere, lockdown, now that person's lumbered with, mm. you know what I mean? Or something's happened that you've messed with someone's plan somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Bare people's plan somewhere because we're human. You know what I'm saying? You can't just treat it like that. You can't just not tell us stuff that's important. You know what I mean? They can, though. I know they do. They can and they do, but in 
Real, in my reality, in my head, which makes sense, mm. you shouldn't, not can't, you shouldn't. When I say can't, I don't mean can't because you yeah, can't, yeah. but you shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I have to de delve for myself. I have to find, where's my phone? I have to find the NHS website myself because you, you make, because you, you, you induce panic, man. You induce stress and anxiety and you know what I'm saying? Like we've already, I don't, know if, I don't know what I've spoken about with you on podcast and not on podcast and in real life and whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, why is it so hot? Hey, what, you hot? No, my phone's boiling hot. Oh. Why is, it, why is it so hot? It's boiling hot, fam. Turn it off or something. It is off. Oh, mad. Rod, right, you know what? That's the fucking... You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's off. I don't yeah, know. It's, it's all that shit's going to blow up now. They're like, right, you're um, talking about freedom and shit, bro. We don't right, like yeah, that. But, no, but um, the, the NHS website, I don't know if you've seen it. You just go on this, there's a site, England.NHS, I can't remember if I found it anyway. It shows the whole COVID stats of everything. Oh, like, yeah. Seen yeah. it? Yeah, I ain't seen it, though. Like, people that have died under 20 or something with yeah. no health issues at all. Yeah. Out of like the 46, 50,000 people that have died. Under 20, I think it's under 25, I can't remember what it is, with no health conditions. It's like six people or something like that. Yes. Out of like 50,000 people, 60,000 people. So, like, I'm worried about myself. Not, not, I'm not just worried about my mum and people around me. I'm worried about myself. I'm thinking, well, I don't want to catch you because I'm good. Like, what about me? No, that puts, that made me feel cool. Like, okay, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I don't transmit it to anybody. Right. But if I catch it, I'm, um, I feel like I'm cool now. You know what I'm saying? I feel, I feel, I feel calmer about yeah. it rather than the hysteria. When, when, it, when, it, remember the videos we'll see in, in other countries of like piled up coffins at yeah. hospitals and da, 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 da. I was thinking it's going to be, I thought it was going to be H1Z1. It's the passing it on. Flipping, thing, that's a game. I'm, I'm talking about uh, Battle Royale game. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was talking about a game, but I, I think I like, in my head, I, was, I thought I thought it was going to be like flipping derelict. The city's finished. People yeah. have been walking on the street, uh, 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 dropping on no, the floor. But maybe you had that's to that's do that's that. Though. Yeah, maybe course, you had to do that. Saying, but before it got we're mad. adults, man, we're adults. They should have said. They should have told us. Listen, man, this is nuts. For people that are over 60, 70 and people that have got existing health conditions, it's very, very techy for you. If you're healthy and under, say, 35, 40, you should be okay. But still, your loved ones and you know what I mean. Da -da 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 -da, look after them. Boom, 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 and maybe have. You know what I mean? Treat us in, as individuals. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. You know I don't know. know. I can't. It's, yeah, it, it, I get, it was hard I, either I way. I hear you still. But I feel like it, it's going to take... I feel like it would take generations, like generations upon generations to be able to deal with humans in this society like that. Definitely. Because, because, you know what, yeah? I think, maybe this ties. I hope it does, yeah? But even when we talk about separation and stuff like that, like, obviously, when people are separated and stuff like that, it's easier to control people when they are separated and all of that, yeah? Mm. Everyone always has... Like, everyone has different opinions on stuff, whatever it may be. But the reality is, is that, like, for a, a big demographic of people, they are not... Whether they are conscious of this or not, yeah? They are not trained to be able to think for themselves. They are trained to, 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 to take information from the, their main sources, yeah, which could be like um, BBC One, ITV, whatever it may be, yeah. And so they're like, the information that is given to them is, all right, cool, this is what I've got, this is how I've got to move. Today, and because of that, Facebook, today, YouTube. Right, and today, Facebook, yeah. yeah, all of that, yeah. yeah. And so with that though, is you can easily just lead people astray when it comes to that, because you're just yeah. giving them bits of information or whatever. Everything I want to say, you keep saying it. So yeah. I feel like it would take such a long time to get people to be able to to train them yeah. to think like objectively. Objectively think, yeah. But also like, yeah, boom. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. Like when, when you when you said, because um, you just said it just now, but just me today, what I wanted to say. When you said sometimes you have to overdo it so they know what happens when you overdo it and scare people is people start to say, no, no, man, they can't. And they don't believe it, so they check it out. They say it's fake. It's fake. And you right. have people marching in central London. No masks. The, wearing a mask restricts the oxygen to your blood. And make, like they're trying to silence. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it makes people. Go and then you can't turn around. One. Then you can't turn around and say, do you know what? Yeah. All right, cool. Here is what. Here's the pattern. Yeah. Yeah. I overcooked it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. I overcooked it because the reason why I overcooked it is because of X, Y, Z. Yeah, so yeah. what happens is the next time no, when something happens, man, man says, nah, bro, he's overcooking it. Wolf. You say, yeah. yeah. Trust me. Trust me. As I'm saying, they've got to treat us as individuals. Treat us as adults, man. And like, yeah. let us know what's actually going on, bruv. Let us know what's going on. Let us know what's going down. So I definitely understand it's real. It's oh, a real virus. that was another I thing it. I wanted to say as well, yeah? 
and I missed it, but somewhere in something, another issue is is that we as people, yeah, or not particularly me and you, yeah. but I think, and tell me what you think about this as well, that right now in society, it feels like people are hell bent, yeah, and so caught up on pointing out inconsistencies and contradictions. And that's a problem because that way, it's harder for you to to take sense out of nonsense or even listen to someone because if someone's giving you a message or saying something, someone's gonna turn around and say, but yeah, he did. Yeah. Or no, but he, or no, but she, or no, but. If we're so caught up in finding con- um, inconsistencies and contradictions, how do we actually, how do we take a message for what the message is? Well, and that is give just me, give me an example because I, I think that as well. But I think my example with that is always to do with social networking and like online rather than reality. Really? Oh, so you feel like that doesn't happen in reality? Like, no, no, it definitely happens in reality. Yeah, but not as much. Right. Like in reality, I might go to get my car serviced. They might tell me, "Yeah, we fixed it. It was wiring. The wiring was right. Problem." And I come to pay the bill, the woman's like, oh yeah, do, 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 do. like it was to do with the frosted, I'll be frosted glass or whatever. I'll be like, no, nah, it's not the glass, it's the wiring. Like, how, how can I come here? One of you told me it's wiring, one of you told me it's because the glass is frosted, that's why. Da, 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 da. Like, ain't, you know what I mean? That does happen. People do check out what's going on, why you said this, or I don't trust you. Plus, you know what I mean? Or you might ring your bridge and they might say, oh yeah, man, Jay, don't go to that, don't go to a main dealer, man. Trust me, go to this guy because right. main dealer, they scammed you, da, 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 da. they will say this, whatever, whatever. So sometimes you might have in real life situations where you're really trying to. Right. Check for inconsistencies and check if someone's done something in the past history or whatever, whatever, just because it's going to benefit you and your whip or whatever, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But it's not really going to happen as much with me chatting to my neighbour and, right. and he says to me like, yeah, man, like, yeah, yesterday, man, I was so drunk, man, I was drinking, was having a nice new year and then my wife gets out of the car and he's like, yeah, you're right, yeah, yesterday I was just chilling with my mates. I'm going to be like, oh, you just said you was drinking. I'll be like, oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> may, maybe he doesn't, you know what I mean? I'm not going to try and hate, like, try and get someone's throat, yeah. but if someone tweets now yeah. or Says, oh, yeah, man. Everything on screen. Every, oh, New Year, man. I was so drunk. I was waved like, I can't, like, I can't remember what happened. And then the next day they're streaming and they're saying, yeah, man. New Year's, I just had a chill with my children with my mum and whatever. People be like, oh, you said da, da, da. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, the, or that's just, that's just the like, um, innocent inconsistency. Yeah, but if there yeah. was one to do with, say, uh, a brand deal or to say with whatever, whatever, they'll be at your throat like, yeah, how can you do this? How can you, you know what I mean? Online, I mm. see it a lot more. I see it a lot more people. Yeah, I think it's people, every, people it's trying, any, anything behind the screen. Yeah, anything think, that involves being behind the screen. Yeah, I think even TV people do it. People people do that because, in my opinion, we have seen, we have grown and seen now that uh, you can gain a lot from being online. You can right. gain a lot from being online. You can, yeah, that makes sense. You can gain a lot from being successful online. Right. Yeah. You can gain a lot from being successful online and successful online can mean anything now. Yeah, 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 that's true. You know what I mean? It can mean you just report the news. You have your own little news report in it, the news in your area. Yeah. It can mean that you just model clothes. It can mean that you just make 27 second videos on music production and put up beats and everyone loves your beats and retweets all the time. It can mean that you, I don't know, anything. You can do absolutely anything now. You flip in, you build electric vehicles and you race them in your mm. garden. Bruv, I watch YouTube, bruv. I watch, I watch people racing marbles. People make a big marble track and they name the marbles and then they say, ready, go! And they let and the marbles go them. down and they say, oh, spot the yellows in the leaves, spot the yellows. Oh, it crashed out on the corner. So now we have the twinkle stars. Twinkle what, type of yellow, what type of marble? Fam, you, man, normal man, marbles. Mad. They race cars, little cars. With marbles? They got, they, no, they know this separately. Bro, I was going through looking oh. at what's getting on. They've got other, you know, like little normal cars? Yeah. They race them, they give them driver names as well. And yeah. they put them on the downhill track oh. and they race them like, and their channel's got millions of subscribers. They're making money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So successful online can mean absolutely anything. Yeah. So we've now gone through the introduction period, the induction period of social networking, social media. And now we're kind of like, the set now. We understand, cool, you can make quite a bit of money from this and you can have a success, uh, successful life from this. So what that's, what's happening now is people are starting to realise when people are trying to get there. They, right. they, they say, oh, I see that guy. He's trying to position himself to get there. He's doing this. And they, tell you, they try and tear you down because it makes them feel good. So that's what it is. Literally anyone, your next door neighbour could just be someone that just posts fitness workouts in her bedroom on her Facebook, whatever, whatever, whatever. You don't know. But then some other person might know and see her and think, oh, she thinks she's, you know what I mean? And then tear her down 
for something she says inconsistent yeah. online because they mm. think she's trying to do this and I make them feel like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. she tried it. Like, you know what I mean? People feel good. People feel good from a teardown. 100%. People feel good. People feel good from even hearing a teardown. And I think it's something to do with human nature because I can admit, I don't feel good, but I <laughs> get the trigger that's going to make, like, I don't blaze, but when someone's building up, I think, mm, I want to build up. I, I want to take a draw on the but I don't really want to. But you know what I mean? I, I get the trigger of the feeling of how much, how good it might feel. You know what I'm saying? I get that feeling. So like, if I pick up my phone right now and I see so-and-so drop from label after scan, I'm like, in my head, I can't wait to get to the end of the sentence. Yeah, I want to yeah, know yeah. what happened. <laughs> but I'm not, gonna be, I'm not gonna read it and think, yes, oh my God, he got silent. I don't want to celebrate. I don't want it. I don't want it. I wish it never happened. But the fact that it's happening, something in human nature, Makes you think, oh, what is that? What the fuck is that? What happened? You know what I'm saying? So if you're unha if everyone you're, gets that, if, and yeah, if you're sorry, if you're unhappy, whatever it is, yeah, whether you're unhappy in life or if you're unhappy with something, only a part of you being unhappy celebrates the failure in someone else. There you go. You, you, keep, you keep saying everything. You keep saying everything while I say it. I was gonna say maybe the reason why I don't celebrate it is because I know that it doesn't affect me and I'm cool and I'm already cool and I wish that, that never happened to them, you know what I'm saying? But maybe if I was nothing and I had nothing, I'll be like, hey man, you see, yeah, hey, see what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, he's a waste, man, anyway, you know what I mean? Put the phone down, nothing, play a computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make, a, make toast, eat toast, look and see if there's anything. Go on, guys, basically. Uh, no. Man, I mean, go on this page now, go on this page now. We, uh, you see, you know what I mean? That's with really love, though, doing. with love, I've had to tell a brethren before, like, you know what? I'm not the person for that conversation. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like when someone's ringing me, like, oh, yeah, love. shit, did you. Oh, but oh, okay, did yeah, you hear cool, about cool, And then cool. so I've oh, had cool. to say, like, that when they're on that phone. Yeah, yeah, on no, that but vibe. you said a phone call. If, if it's a phone call, I've said it with love. But in a group, no, I mean, I mean, like, I'm not. When I say with love, I mean like with the person I'm talking about. With love, with all due respect to yeah. them, yeah. Like when it's been on that vibe of like celebrating the yeah, negativity yeah. in whatever it is, I've had to kind of be on a vibe of you know what, I'm not the person to ring for that conversation because yeah. I don't feel the same as you. I've when done it comes that before, but not on the phone call. As I'm saying, I, right. did, I did it without love. I okay. did it. I did it with malice. I did it. With, uh, <laughs> I did it like shut the fuck up, man. Like, what are you talking about, man? Dickhead team. Yeah, because it was in a group and they came to the group with the oh, like, bro, yeah. what? You know what I mean? Like, I did it like that. But yeah, if it was a phone call, I wouldn't have been so rude, obviously. Yeah, I'd yeah, been yeah. Like, cool. Do you know what? I'm gonna wrap this little piece up here yeah, yeah. by just saying, and for for people anyway, this is just my opinion. Yeah? yeah, I feel that everything that we do. Yeah, everything that we do, whether we like it or not, yeah, is in some way inherently involved in politics, yeah? And with that, in and around that is liberty and freedom and, yeah. And I think that it's when you have people, when we're all divided, that's when it starts to become super techy because if everyone was actually thinking in the same, in the same way, then it would be interesting to see how things would move then. But with that being said, everything's political. Everything involves some type of politics. And I know that a lot of people don't see that, but all it is is, if you don't see it, essentially, you just don't see the game that's being played around you. That's all. But anyway, brother. Yeah. Happy New Year, by the way. Yeah, Happy New like, Year. Happy man. New Year to everyone. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. To Happy everyone. Year, yeah. Happy New Year, Callum and that. Obviously, me and man chat and that. You get what I'm saying? Callum, what are you saying? You good? Yeah? I'm all right, yeah. I'm pretty decent. Yeah? yeah. Bought in a year, New Year, all right. You know what I mean? A little chill and that. Yeah. yeah, I hear you still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Good, good, good. Definitely didn't do anything illegal. Either, so. That's good. I thought you did. I was, wait, wait, I was waiting to see what's going on. I actually I, wasn't I, trying to trip you up or yeah, anything. Yeah, I thought you did. I just actually. <laughs> I was. Definitely did. Okay. <laughs> we definitely had a few people around now. Oh, yeah. It was responsible. Social bubbles. Social bubbles are loud. Social bubbles, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Social bubbling. Social. Yeah, social bubbling. Very social. How are you, how are you anyway, bro? How's things? Me? Good? Yeah. Uh, good man, good man. I'm just, I'm just still on the same mission of trying to. Um, I'm on that same mission of trying to distill my enjoyment and trying to find out why I enjoy certain things and mm. how, to share, how to share that enjoyment. That's what I'm still trying to do. I enjoy quite a lot of things, but it's always just me. What do you mean? Music, wise. I, like I'm that guy that didn't do streaming. I'm that guy that. Mm. CDs. I'm that guy that blah 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 because I enjoy that with vinyl. I'm that you know what I mean. So I'm trying to find out how. I'm like, I'm like the mid generation in it. Mm. Like I'm sure there's bare old school dons that love the vinyl. You know what I'm saying? 
but then I'm the mid generation where I get why it's so nice, why the music sounds so nice, why playing music that is not being streamed, it's just yours and you play it and you own it, worldwide play it on airplane mode on a plane, you've got it physically, owning music, doing something to get music, having a process to get the music so you now have it, like not everyone has it and having it exclusively or not, not exclusively, but you have it on a more limited form, why it feels better than, it's out, Friday, everyone stream it. You know what I mean? Trying to find out why that, what makes that work, why live music feels a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I went to go, I don't know, I said this before as well, Ezra Collective, a jazz group. Like, if anyone would have asked me about jazz prior to listening to Ezra Collective, I would have been like, I don't know nothing about jazz. Like, jazz is like, just, it's like, mm. chilling, like, you know what I'm saying? When I, I went to go and see them, my wife took me to go and see them. Like, just surprised me to go and see them. And the second the music started, I was like, what the fuck is going on? This is mad. This is mad. Like, oh my God, how am I going to share this? How am I going to let my brethren know that this is mad? You know what I mean? Like, straight away, you know what I'm saying? So live music. So I'm trying to find ways still of how I'm going to, this year, how I'm going to um, spread that feeling. With, are, what are you talking people. about? Are you talking about professionally? So like no, the, or or you talk about personal stuff as well, like no, everything. Yeah, sorry, when you said professionally, I thought you meant like on a mad worldwide scale. Uh, yeah, I mean like no, yeah. So I, when I, when I, I say professionally, mean, I mean like, are you talking about? Because obviously, everyone knows you're doing the music thing or whatever. Yeah. When you were saying it, I was more taking it as like even just with your friends, like even just like even forget everyone, even just in your circle of friends. My, like, my circle of friends know. Yeah, I was they know say me. That. My circle yeah. of friends know what I'm going when it's, me, when it's yeah, me. Even yeah. even getting in my car and putting something on is techie. Like you know, what I mean, like they they li- like I'm sure my friends know. Yeah, my friends know. My friends get it. But I mean, mm. like just like supporters wide and like UK wide. I wanna I wanna I wanna start something, man. I wanna start something. Yeah. I wanna start something. I, I I wanna um I want music to be as exciting for me uh, for them as it is for me because mm. it's too music too exciting for me to the point where like. Yeah, it's too exciting. Basically, yeah. Basically, music is too much for me. I love it so much. And I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to find a new way to show that love for music with everybody. Have That's you ever I'm thought doing. about like well, I mean, you must have. Maybe not actually. You just do certain things naturally in that. But like your your personality, like obviously, you know, people buy into people, innit? Yeah. I'm a massive person when like when it comes to stuff like that. Sometimes I buy into when I just fuck with someone. Yeah, I've bought into them because I like the way that they speak. They, sometimes I could see someone or listen to someone talking about something. I'm watching a podcast at the moment called um, "I Am Athlete." Yeah, mm. they're American football. They're American footballers. Yeah. I do not know nothing about American football, bro. Yeah. I don't watch it. I'm not even that. I prefer rugby, by the way. Cause I prefer. I'm a man who just prefers people getting to the nitty gritty yeah. and swinging it out. Yeah. One of the reasons why I like UFC. Yeah, I just like getting in the cage and yeah. thing. I understand the technicalities in it more, and I like all of that. But yeah, we move. But with that being said, yeah, there's like personalities on there that. I just have bought into and so I can listen to them. When they talk about life, I love it. When they're talking about their sport, I don't know much about it, but because I've bought into them, yeah, I enjoy watching, them. listening to them and I'm learning about it or whatever, mm. yeah. And I think with you, a lot of people, um, not only musically, but personally as a person, has just bought into you as a person. So like, I know that you're real particular about things that you where you want to sort of show yourself and things that you want to do or whatever it may be yeah mm. but like do you have you never thought essentially about showing more of that essentially yes but the reason why i don't is because <laughs> Bad, 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 bad,